Yo, what's the YouTube? It's your boy Fizz back in the with yet another video. And today I'm coming to you guys with the builds with the most badges at every single position. So like the point guard, the shooting guard, the small forward, the power forward, the center. Also, obviously, one of these builds is going to be the most badge build in the game. So I'm gonna be going through all these joints. I've already uploaded the most badge build in the game, but it's only right that I give you guys this. Y'all went crazy on this video last year. You guys want me to update this on next gen i will i also can do a lot more stuff with this series like going over the best build at every position the rarest build at every position so if you guys want that to come out go ahead and leave a like put it in the comments some other ideas i can do with this and yeah i'll be able to make sure i do those too so yeah without further ado let's go ahead hop straight into it I got digital dash, can't ride with a up. I walk in the store and I buy the stock. I hide in the bins and pull off the lot. Got two from the diamond, it cost me a lot. They flying like birds, but drop on this hot. 400 degrees, I burn up the block. Burn out, make one call, they turn out. See, see the gang, get the word out. When the shit getting hot, you the first out. Cover my wrist with a watch and I flood it with rocks. Now I look at the time all day. Be high, I ride the old block and I drop off the top and I know you can see my face. You my dog at the end, don't care what the bitches say. Alright, so off the rip, you know we gotta start with the point guard. So I'm gonna just go through these builds and show you guys quickly. It's not gonna be a detailed discussion on how we're gonna make these builds. It's just gonna be telling you guys what to do and what the build gonna be coming out as. So pretty much you're gonna obviously make the point guard a point guard. Then when it comes to the skill breakdown, you're gonna go with the shooting and finishing. But you're not going to go finishing Hall of Fame. You're not going to go shooting and finishing Hall of Fame. You're going to have to go all the way down there and go with the shooting Hall of Fame. But it's going to be a bigger side for finishing. That's going to be the best one to pretty much get max badges for pretty much almost every single build. Except for small four. But we're going to get into that. But then when it comes to the pie chart for the physical, you want to go speed pie chart. Then when it comes to the attributes, you're going to end up getting only one defensive. But you're going to get 21 finishing, 27 shooting, and 16 playmaking. Then when it comes to the height, weight, wingspan, that's pretty much going to all be up to you. That doesn't really change the badges. Now, that stuff may change the name, but the, for the way I made it, just to get it out the way, it comes out as a scoring machine. Now, the way I made it, I feel like that's probably the best way to make it for the people that's going to make it because it's really going to be an offensive style of a build. But yeah, it does come out as a scoring machine. So yeah, that is going to be that build, and that's going to be the most badge build at the point guard position. I can't, I can't do it, coach. I can't. I can't. Yeah, go ahead. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Crank that shit out, coach. Get him right, coach. Hey, y'all come over here and come to the coach. Oh, oh shit. Oh, he can't, oh, coach. Ooh, you. Yeah. Oh, that nigga finna right, reverse it. He finna reverse it. Hey, I don't think that's safe, coach. Oh, I don't think he can support his weight. All right, next. We're going to just go through these point guard, shooting guard, small for it power for the center so next is going to be the shooting guard so obviously you're going to be a shooting guard next is going to be pretty much the same pie chart you're going to go with the shooting and finishing but you're only getting shooting hall of fame badges then when it comes to the physical pie profile you're going to go with the speed pie chart or agility pie chart whatever you want to call it then when it comes to the badges you're, you're going to be able to get 64 total i don't know if i said this last time but you get 65 on the point guard but a shooting guard you get 64 total you're going to get 20 finishing 27 shooting 16 playmaking and one defensive then when it comes to the body height height weight wingspan that's all doesn't really change anything on the badges so that's not really important for this specific video but the takeovers you get on this build you actually get sharp takeover shot creator takeover slasher takeover and playmaker takeover that's really up to you yet again because that doesn't really change what the badges is that's the most important thing we're going to the most badges at every single position and the build comes out as a scoring machine build so yeah that's going to be pretty much the most badges you can possibly get on a shooting guard build see y'all i'm the best man i did it all right next so hopping into the small four now this is actually a popular build on the channel this is kind of a variation of my build the slashing playmaker but you're only going to be able to get 63 now there is a way that you can get 62 total badge upgrades on this build 
but for the people want to get the most badges possible, I'm going to show you guys and you're going to be able to get that one extra badge point and get 63. Now, I'm going to just warn you, you're not going to have nearly as good a defense, but I'm going to still show you. So, you're obviously going to go small for it. Then, when it comes to the pie chart, you're going to go with playmaking and finishing. Then, when it comes to the physical pie chart, you're going to go with speed pie chart because that's going to be pretty much the second most important attribute in the game behind shooting then when it comes to the attributes you want to go 20 12 30 and 1 now if you haven't seen the video i posted yesterday i actually showed you guys a way to make this build you would have to go 15 12 30 and like 5 or 6 but yeah you can get 62 badge upgrades on this build and be able to have defense but if you don't really care about defense and you want to have the most badges possible go with this build this is going to be pretty much a well-rounded offensive build and then when it comes to the height weight wingspan the body type all that type of stuff that's really completely up to you even down to the takeovers the takeovers is going to be the same thing as what i had in the video slash your playmaker and shot creator i broke down what i would go over for that so i would just say right here you actually want to go with playmaker takeover the build comes out as a slashing playmaker similar to shades of latrell spirel demar Derozan, and brandon ingle and yet again bro i'm gonna just say this build gets 63 badger grades but you can make this build a lot better and get 62 all right before we go too far into this video i want to make sure to go over this now we were at 4.2 percent we're all the way up to 9.7 percent but still 90 percent of y'all that are watching my videos aren't even subscribed i know y'all mess with the videos we're gonna be going so crazy so you might as well hit that sub button is that simple all right next is going to be the most badges at the power for so obviously we're going to be at the power for it then when it comes to the pie chart you're gonna go with the shooting and finishing yet again what a surprise then when it comes to the pie chart for the physical profile you're gonna go with the speed pie chart then when it comes to the attributes you're gonna actually end up getting 20 27 17 and 1 now if you haven't noticed there's a trend by now you're gonna get one defensive every single time and the defense is gonna be lacking but everything else you're gonna actually be pretty balanced on then when it comes to the body type height weight wingspan that's actually completely up to you to, depending on how you want to play with this build that's up to you because you can go tall and go shorter that's up to you yet again when it comes to the takeovers you get you only get post score or sharp that depends on if you're gonna be if you in the paint gonna be posting up because this is a build that can post up go post takeover if you're gonna be on the perimeter go sharp takeover because you want to have that plus 10 to your threes that's just very overpowered so yeah you can go with either one of those that's really up to you then a build comes out as a mid-range finisher that's actually a very rare name for the people that's out there that's looking for rare names and similar to shades of danilo gallinari boyan bogdanovich and kevin love very very interesting build no defense on it yet again what a surprise, but yeah, that's actually not the worst build. Drewski just keeps looking at my girl's ass all the time. I keep giving him beers and shit. I'm trying to make him chill out, but he, he won't take his eyes off my girl's ass. So you guys are like twins, right? Yeah. That's hot. <laughs> You're cute as fuck, bro. Hey, they're 16. What? Whoa. All right, and last but not least, before we end off this video, this is going to be the most badge build in the game. In my opinion, this is a build that was actually in my most overpowered builds video. So that was pretty much just the best of the best builds in the game. So this build is actually, in my opinion, the best center build in the game. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to make it. So you're gonna go with the center position. Then when it comes to the pie chart, you're gonna actually go with the finishing pie chart. You're just gonna get finishing Hall of Fame. That's key, because if you don't go with the right pie chart, you can mess everything up. Then when it comes to the physical profile, you wanna go with the balanced profile that's gonna be pretty much having everything balanced with everything, pretty much nothing being just stupid low. Then when it comes to the attributes and badger grades, you're actually gonna end up with 30 finishing, seven shooting, 20 playmaking, and 11 defensive rebounding you're actually gonna be pretty good at post that's very interesting then when it comes to the height weight wingspan and body type i would just make it like a post score so when it came to the way i made it i pretty much tried to make it i would go built or burly i would go tallest height i would go highest weight then i would go longest wingspan then when it came to the takeover post score Remember that the, I would go post score because you can actually, if you didn't know, you can get plus 10 to your interior defense in post score takeover. So that's not just going to be helping your offense, but it's also going to be helping your defense. And it's very overpowered. One of the most overpowered takeovers in the game. So yeah, I would go post score takeover. 
and the build comes out as a paint beast similar to or shades of Yao Ming, Hassan Whiteside, and Brook Lopez. It's very, 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 very rare to get a similar to or shades of, of Yao Ming. So yeah, man, that is going to be the most badge build in the game. That's going to be the most badge build at center. In this video, I'll also give you guys the most badge build at point guard, shooting guard, small forward, and power forward. If you want to know exactly the numbers, point guard, you got 64. Shooting guard, you got 64. Actually, point guard, you got 65. Shooting guard, you got 64. Small forward, you got 63. Power forward, you got 64. No, you, at power four, I believe you got 65. And at center, I know for a fact you get 68 total badges. And that's arguably one of the best badges or builds in the game. So, yeah, man. Without further ado, go ahead. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. We've got more videos coming out every single day. Turn on post notifications. Be the first to every single one of my videos. Share this video to anybody you think this will help. But yeah, that's gonna be pretty much the end of this video. Like I said, I can do make this like a series. Give you guys the rarest build at every position. Give you guys the best build at every position. Just let me know. I'm also gonna probably be updating this on next gen because on next gen you can get even more builds and it's gonna be a bigger variety of different pie charts and stuff like that. So that's gonna actually be interesting also. But yeah, like I said, leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, be the first to every single one of my videos. Share this video to anybody who thinks this will help. But yeah, man, it's your boy Fitz, man. And I'll do it, man. Head in the clouds, walk through the city, they taking you out. Bitches be talking, they running, they bound. A bag in the back and a stick in the couch. You know what it's about. Uh, Had to cope with all the pain, so I'm about to die, man. Uh, they say he going too fast. All right, before we go too far into this video, I want to make sure to go over this. Now, we were at 4.2%. We're all the way up to 9.7%. But still... 90% of y'all that are watching my videos or even subscribed. I know y'all mess with the videos. We finna be going so crazy, so you might as well hit that sub button. Is that simple?